previously. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Oh, you snake. Did, did they cut off your thing too? Oh, this is pretty. I quite like it. Is it gone? I know you guys want it, but you're not getting it. It's mine. Lady Mira of House Forester. Hello. Shut up, Sarah. Hey guys, this is Melanda. Welcome back to Game of Thrones. So, uh, let's get started. Oh, there we go. Uh, so now we are trying to decide who's going to be our sentinel. So. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You are both worthy. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. <laughs> They're both so eager. Well. So, now the choice is Duncan or uh, Sir Royland. Well, Duncan, I quite like Duncan. He, um, he gives a lot of good advice. And uh, he usually go for the... Um, well, he, he usually go for smart choices, I think. Like a peaceful solution to to everything. Uh, Royland, Royland is good at. Well, I think I think he's more straightforward. <laughs> he says whatever he wants, and uh, but he's also good at um, fighting, I guess. Like 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 all the war based stuff. So, we should give it to mom. Hey mom, can we give it to you? No, we cannot. So, uh, my choice is, um, Sir Roilin. And, uh, because I think we are going into a war and we are dealing with Ramsay. And, uh, Ramsay, you cannot negotiate with Ramsay. It just, it just, no, no. So, uh, I think this guy that knows how to fight would be better. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. <laughs> you gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it Shut not? Shut up. Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't oh. doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. 
Oh, you God. must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! No, I don't think... I... See, now, I... It, because it's Ramsey, diplomacy won't work. Bargain, it might... It, he might make us think that it works, but no, not really. Or we fight him. But I don't think we can actually fight him. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, we're all gonna stare at this kid to make this decision. While he channels my spirit. Um. <laughs> my sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, <laughs> lord to lord. Lord Ethan? No, no, no. Um, God, these are both pretty bad. He can... He can kill us either way. Well, the Boltons, they slaughtered all the Starks in a hall, so why would I do that? But um, meeting him at the gates will mean that he has, uh, he has more options to kill me. But I don't trust going... I don't want to, I don't want to like, invite someone so vile into my home. Let's meet him at the gates. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Good dog. <laughs> Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Now that, now that she repeated it, I think maybe we should offer our iron wood. <laughs> I don't know. My lord, I have faithfully served this family for many years. I... I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect you. Just... remember that. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. I, and I, we need all the help we can get. I agree. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. 
You have many fine qualities. But I, I you do not have that anger inside you. I don't... It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I agree, I agree. Uh, we need all the people we can get. And if Asher is as tough as uh, Mother says he is, then uh, yeah, yeah, we need it. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Can we just send a raven? <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. So we can keep this guy. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Well, I hope that was not a bad decision. I hope I'm not gonna die. Those are some very nice grapes. Look at that. Look at those grapes. Look at this. Oh, oh, we have a key. Are we supposed to steal something? Why would we steal a key? And we're just gonna stare at all this. Uh, I don't know what's the point of doing this. Pick. Okay, whatever. Pick it up. You want to take it? Oh, jeez. No, no, no. We have to trust Marjorie on this. Return to seal. I I don't know why I need to take these, though. Can we? Marjorie? Oh, okay. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Shut up. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. <laughs> Thanks for offering. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. That's my fake Lady face. Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Thank you. Goodbye. You have a beautiful back. Uh, is everything all right? Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Oh, you need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak oh, to me when God. I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Well, now that Marjorie can't help us, I guess fighting Ramsay would be the better choice. My lady. 
begging I... your pardon, milady. I, I, I hope I... I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. Oh, jeez. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. I'm not sure if I trust him, but he's he's less dodgy than Sarah, I guess. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? Okay. Oh, fuck him if he's angry. <laughs> I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Can't show weakness. Come on, this is... Oh, God. I... I'm not looking forward to seeing Ramsay. You're not coming in. Stay there. Something wrong with your gate? Yeah, mechanics. Rusted a little bit. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? It's a little bit now too let heavy me for me. In. No. You're gonna kill me. No. This no. is a lovely Just pile you. of Just Why are you cold? <laughs> Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Oh shit, Thank what? Thank you, my lord. Who opened the gates? Close it. Now close it. Close it down on him. Okay. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about okay. it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. We should take away his knife. They should leave all their weapons before they enter. Why is he walking around in my house with a dagger? Disarm him! God. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Okay, okay, so he's coming inside regardless, so what the hell. I don't want him inside. And he has a knife. What if he kills me with his knife? 
Or like the other guy. He just Look swings a sword that. and kill everybody. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Don't touch my brother. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. Fine, 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 fine. My Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. Man. One Whitehill soldier dead. Singular. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. Is right. He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Hey, Do hey, make hey. This visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Okay, stop, stop, don't touch her. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. 
We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Stand back. Oh, oh, no! back! No! What have you done? Okay. No! But I don't <laughs> want the brave lord. Okay. Far too much trouble. Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, Ethan. I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan. Take the boy as your ward. Oh, no. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan. Lovely meeting all of you. Oh, well. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Stop! Don't let him take go. me! You will not take Stop him! Stop that! Help me! Ryan, please! Leave no. me alone! No. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Son of a bitch. Oh, what the hell? Could I could I have prevented that? Or was that gonna happen anyway? Oh god damn it. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. Oh, we shit, can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. John those Snow. who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? So yeah, did I did I mess up? I think I did. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Well, this sixty-five percent stay with Bowen. Well, I'm in the majority. This I'm in the minority. Okay, because I was stupid. I freed Eric. Minority again. Royland, minority again. Well, I guess I am very bad at this game. Well, welcome to uh, Game of Thrones, guys. I would not last a day. So uh, that was a very uh, nice episode one. I, I end up getting Ethan killed. And... Uh, Managed to piss off the queen. Managed to uh, piss off Ramsay. Uh, got my brother, little brother kidnapped. What else did I mess up? Uh, more or less everything. So, uh, <laughs> hope you guys are not too frustrated with me. Um, hopefully I can do better in uh, episode two. So, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't trust anyone anymore. Oh gosh. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in uh, episode 2, hopefully with better choices. Alright, bye!